Hello friends, it's Tanya with Tinkerin' and Ink with Tanya, and I'm here with a Creating Kindness blog hop. This time we're focusing on fancy folds, and I'm doing what I'm calling a stand-up card. Stand-up dimensional card? I don't know. Whatever I'm calling it. We're going to start with a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by seven inches, and we're going to score it at one and a half and five and a half. So this is the stand-up portion, the frame of the card, and you can do a whole lot of different things to modify this and make this extra special. Um, I'm creasing this really well, and this just shows you how it creates the frame of the, the box card, stand-up card. Yeah. So then I generally take a piece of four and a half inch wide cardstock and I score it at one quarter inch and four and one quarter inch. And I'm gonna use this to make all of the tiers for this card. You can make as many tiers as will fit inside of the card. I generally use two or three. I'm gonna crease those ends very well. And I'm gonna run a strip of one eighth inch score tape on each side. Now that simplifies things so much from this one piece of cardstock that fits perfectly inside this <clears throat> frame <clears throat> I'm going to be able to cut tiers for more than one card on the side panels you can see this is a card I made last year I sloped to the sides so I'm gonna mark about a quarter of an inch in from the top and one and three quarter inches up from the bottom. And then I'm just going to cut that off with my paper trimmer to create those sloped panels. Those uh, dies are some of my favorites from Paper Tray Ink. I use them all the time. These are called On the Round, I believe. Um, and the other ones were uh, To the Point, I think, On the Round and To the Point. I believe that the on the round ones are available at Simon Says Stamp and over at Paper Tray Ink. I will try to link below in the description box all the way places you can find them. And these are my tiers. I did a one inch, a three quarter inch, and a half inch. And now these are a bunch of adorable little critters from My Favorite Things. This was a September release, I believe. And this is the Sweater Weather on Safari. I've colored a whole bunch of those little fellas, and I'm going to use them on a whole bunch of different projects. Now, I wanted to add some color to this, and I, you know me, I love to sponge. So we've got some distressed oxides in frayed burlap and uh, brushed corduroy. The brushed corduroy is the lighter of the two, and that's on the top. Originally, or when I started this, I was just going to do the front of the card. <clears throat> so I inked those up, I spritzed it with some pearlized water, I'm lightly drying it with my heat tool. I didn't spray very much pearlized water on there. Then I decided, you know what, it's gonna look pretty funny if just the front is um, sponged. So I sponged the back and spritzed that again also. So the back is where you write your personal message. You, it'll lay flat even after you've finished all the construction. It's still going to lay flat um, and you'll be able to write on the back. So now I have decided that I of course have to sponge all of the tiers. Now I'm doing front and back of each of these tiers and you absolutely don't have to do both sides. I don't know why I did both sides. I thought maybe you would be able to see the back and I just wanted it all to be real smooth and seamless, but you don't. And as you can see, the score tape is not damaged at all. It's not even bothered by my sponging over the top. And I used frayed burlap because it was all going to be in the bottom portion of the card and that's what color I'd used on the bottom. Here I tested my skinny strip that will be the frontmost tier to make sure it was dry enough to do some embossing. Um, and then I wiped it with my powder tool um, before I <clears throat> am going to stamp this message, which is adorable. It says, have a warm birthday. And that sentiment actually comes from the sweater weather on safari. 
stamp set. <clears throat> and then we'll heat set that with our heat tool. That is, I used Brutus Monroe Alabaster White embossing powder. I have been using that for over a year now, I think. Ouch! Hey, reminder, heat tool gets hot. Keep your fingers out of there. <laughs> You'd think I would know this. I just couldn't reach my chipboard piece that I normally clip things to. There were a pile of um, stamp sets on it on my rolly stool behind me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Messy, messy crafter. That's me. So in here we get to the guts of putting this together. So you're going to take your backmost tier and line that up with the creased edge on one side and the bottom edge. So you're lining that up at two edges. Then you take the next tier and you line that up with the crease on the back tier and so on and so forth. Then you just fold that flap over and it picks up all of the exposed adhesive. Now you're going to make sure these all line up with the bottom edge so they're straight and aren't going to hang out. And here I'm using my block just to make sure everything is where is even with the bottom edge of the card. And I do the same thing. Just fold that flap over and voila, there's your stand-up tier card. <clears throat> and now we'll take all of our little critters. You could have applied these to the tiers beforehand, and I probably should have. But I'll show you that you can do it the hard way because that's how we roll, right? <laughs> I do use my tweezer here for just a moment to hold that in place. I'm just using some uh, Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. It's one of the glues I found that does not set off my asthma. And we're just going to glue the tallest ones in the back and the Next ones are going in the middle tier. And yes, you can see on the back, after I was so concerned about all the tiers being smooth and seamless and not seeing white on the back, you see the back of my critters are all <laughs> screwed up stamping on the back and I flipped the paper over, stamped them again, and you can see the colors. Thankfully, you can't really see that messiness in the card. Nobody's going to know but me, unless they pull them forward to look at the back. And I don't know why they do that. And if they pull them over and look at the back, then they deserve what they get. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> then I decided I wanted another sentiment. It just wasn't quite enough. So I took a little brush corduroy and a scrap of white paper and sponged that and spritzed it because it must all look the same, right? So we're going to take a sentiment from another My Favorite Things stamp set, Hug in a Mug is called. And the sentiment I chose was, which one was it? Friends keep your heart warm. Again, embossing that with the alabaster white embossing powder. I found a stitched rectangle die that would go with that. That happens to be from a Stampin' Up! set that of dies that you can still get. There are gobs of stitched rectangle die sets out there. <clears throat> and that pretty much finishes the construction of this card. It really is a simple uh, 3D card and it looks stunning. Everyone that I've ever given one of these cards absolutely adores it. <clears throat> you can and it folds flat and will fit in a regular A2 sized envelope. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you come back and see my next video. Um, follow me at these different spots and check the description box below to go shopping for any of the supplies in the video. See you next time. Bye.